Hey everybody, it's Kevin McGovern with Faith Forge Knives. I wanted to do a little review uh, how it works, the uh, surface grinder attachment uh, that I built for my 2x72 inch um, knife grinding belt grinder. Um, if you don't know, 2x72 uh, grinders are, are pretty much the gold standard in, in, in knife makers, uh, certainly for hobbyists and custom makers. Um, I'm a hobbyist maker myself. Um, you know, I'm low volume, but still, it's, it really is a great tool to get the job done. Um, so just a few words about the grinder first, um, and then we'll get on with it. I want to first uh, say thanks to Travis Wirtz. Uh, he basically invented the whole concept uh, and, and brought it to reality of a surface grinding attachment for a 2x72-inch belt grinder. Um, there's been others since. Um, Dave, the one-arm <laughs> knife maker. Uh, we got uh, Current Hill and uh, Ken and Tony, uh, other people on, um, on Blade Forums. If you have never been on Blade Forums before, it's an excellent resource for up-and-coming knife makers. Um, you know, runs the gamut. There's a lot of incredible amount of knowledge there, and I would not really know what I was doing at all if it wasn't for, for Blade Forums. So check them out. Um, so to get on with it, uh, just as a real quick explanation, um, I'll, and I'll turn the camera around and we'll, we'll look at the cool stuff. So... So this is uh, my 2x72 inch belt grinder. It tilts on its side. Normally it's sitting upright, uh, but right now I've got it tilted down to a horizontal position because I've got mounted to it a uh, surface uh, grinding attachment for this machine. So uh, a surface grinder is a, a, a machining tool um, with a lot more accuracy than this. Um, this, this is great for what, uh, for me personally anyway, what I do as far as knife making goes. And uh, its main purpose is, is making things flat. Now a true surface grinder is a, a much heavier, a much more precision instrument uh, for, uh, for getting things to tighter tolerances than this is capable of. So don't think this is gonna replace that, but for most knife makers to make things flat, which is great, Great. and tapering tangs which is another great thing you can do with this thing um, it's it's a really great tool uh, it's much less expensive and obviously it takes up a lot less space than a true surface grinder would so uh, since we got that out of the way um, just want to go over the particulars of it so the way I've built this is um, based on uh, one arm Dave and uh, his original plans and also uh, current hill um, his, uh, his plans as well. He, uh, I basically did exactly what he did. Um, and there's just a couple parts and pieces to go over. So, uh, the main parts of it are the mag chuck, which is this part right here. So it's just an aluminum bar that I've machined slots into it. And in those slots go neodymium, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, magnets. They're the really strong magnets. So that's holding right now. It's holding a chef knife on here and you can pull it off. It's not crazy strong. Uh, it, I could I could do with it being stronger, uh, but it, it hasn't thrown a knife so far. Um, so this uh, holds your your workpiece. In this case, a uh, little uh, Sentoku I'm working on, um, uh, flat on on the uh, against it. Uh, and then the idea is uh, that is mounted to this piece here, which is a linear rail, which is really uh, kind of the heart of the whole machine. So the way this works, and I'll take this off of here. Okay, so this is just a rail and it's precision machined and it has hardened rods inside of it. Those rods then interface on these grooved ball bearings, which is allows it to slide back and forth and it, can, it has pretty tight tolerances so it's not wobbling all over the place. It goes straight back and forth, okay? So what the uh, base is attached to is a little uh, compound sliding table. So uh, it's got a knob there and a screw uh, thread, threaded screw there that and you can advance this piece towards your belt or farther away from your belt. So you take a pass, you move it closer, you take a pass, you move it closer until the whole thing's the thickness that you want, okay? Uh, and I'll put links in the description of where I got these things, okay? Um, when our Dave sourced the rail, that was really the, the, the groundbreaker for us that got us all kind of started. So the way this works is uh, you go back and forth and as you make contact with the belt, um, you can, you're gonna take material off and then you can advance it forward and it's gonna take a little bit more material off and so on until you get this thing perfectly flat. So I'm gonna go around the other side of the machine and uh, run this just a little bit so you can see how it works. Um, and uh, hopefully that explains everything. I've done this on uh, a horizontal grinder 
uh, and it's in a horizontal configuration um, and it kind of has to be in this design because if I mounted it vertically, this would be straight up and down. It would be very difficult to use. You'd kind of have to stand on a chair to do it. If you want to mount this and you don't have a grinder that, that goes horizontal or a horizontal uh, grinder that's dedicated to horizontal use, you can build this and instead of using just one bar, as I, you can see here, the whole thing's mounted on one bar. And I did that for simplicity and for rigidity. If you didn't want to do that, what you could do is uh, take a, a separate plate to mount the table on and that would then bolt up to the arm at an angle. So if you angled it like this, and the whole thing's tilted sideways, then you would be grinding at like a 45 degree angle as opposed to straight up and down in the vertical. So I'm gonna go ahead to the other side. Uh, <laughs> I've got my belts hanging there. Um, excuse the mess. It's a knife shop, they're messy. That's just kind of how it is. Um, so then I'll fire this thing up. All right. Okay. So I use a three inch belt on there so I can get a full width on chef's knives. I do a lot of those. Um, so it just take a couple passes here, okay? Now as you advance this, you really want to advance it when it's out there because otherwise it's going to act funny uh, taking the knife off. It's going to want to pull the knife off a lot more. And each time I take a pass, I'm just turning the screw just a touch. Take a look at our work here. Uh, still got a couple of uh, carb, carb lines on there. I'm gonna take that down. And of course, I'm doing this one-handed. It's a little more efficient if I have both hands, but it can't help you out if you only got one hand free. All right. Okay, uh, get questions too. Does it, doesn't it overheat your blanks? Now this is a post heat treat blank if you couldn't tell by all the sparks flying off of it. And I'm holding it in my hand. It's, uh, it's, it's just barely warm. So that's the side we just did. Let me clean that off a little bit. Uh, and you can see that's a 36 grit belt. Uh, so that's a pretty rough finish. But you know, I'd probably take this up to 120 or so and then start working it, working it by hand. So, you know, flat enough. If you get a little, this is really thin ABL. This is like 0 0.07 inches which, you know, it almost always warps. I mean, I, I clamp it and, you know, I do everything you're supposed to do and I, I almost always get, you know, maybe half of them come out with a little bit of warp in the tail, uh, like, you know, up at the tip or whatever, but uh, this really helps to, to just get out that last little bit in a precise way, okay? So I hope that helps, helps you all out. Oh, I think I started saying before, I did go with a three inch wheel and I ordered three inch wide uh, by 72 inch belts. That allows me to get, you know, a much wider, because this, this right here is a two inch high um, uh, knife and I make taller ones as well. So having a full, uh, a full three inch high, it really gets uh, a, nice, a nice full coverage of what you're trying to grind, okay? Uh, now when I'm done, this, and this whole thing weighs a good bit, it's probably about, uh, just this attachment alone is probably 25, 30 pounds. So I normally have a stop up here on the end. Uh, I didn't have it for this so I could pull it all on and off. So when I'm done with it, I'll, I'll slide this off and just keep the two pieces in storage because I don't keep this out with the rest of my, you can see I got wheels down here. I don't keep this out um, just because it's, you know, it's got ball bearings and stuff. I want to keep it as clean as I can. So I just stash it around, uh, stash it underneath my, my bench. So again, thanks again to Travis Wirtz. If you don't want to build one of these things, don't buy one from Travis because he is awesome. The guy does uh, excellent work. His stuff is top notch. Every knife maker knows that his grinder and, and, his, and all his stuff, and his surface grinder attachment, the TW90 grinders, you know, I, I'd love to have one. <laughs> um, but, you know, I've got a little more time than money, I guess. So, um, you know, that's the route I want. So thanks again to Travis for, you know, putting it out there and, and allowing, um, you know, us uh, home guys to, to build our own. Um, it, you know, it's great. So, like I said, again, if you need to buy one, just buy one from Travis. Um, but if you want to make one, um, it can be done. So, good luck. Um, and uh, again, I'll post um, the uh, links to uh, the off-the-shelf stuff, the linear rail and the table, for sure, on, uh, in the comments. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, this is Kevin, Faith Forge Knives. Uh, thanks for watching.